Have you ever wondered, why do you shock your friends after going down the slide at the playground? Today we will learn the answer to this and so much more with my experiment, Levitating Ring. Hi everyone, I'm Emily Calandrelli, MIT engineer and host of Emily's Wonder Lab. And on my channel, we learn about all things space and science. So grab those grocery bags because we're about to make a static charge. When you go down a plastic slide, that plastic slide is transferring electrons from the slide to you, building up something known as a static charge. A static charge is an imbalance of charges. Because electrons are negatively charged, you are building up a negative charge on your body. When that happens, the electrons are dying to jump off of you and onto something or somebody else. When you experience a shock, that shock is simply the electrons jumping off of your body and onto something or someone else. For this one, you need a balloon, a grocery bag. You can just get this at your local grocery store. It's like a produce bag, some scissors and hair. If you don't have hair or you don't want to use your hair, you can also use a cotton towel or a wool sweater. The first thing you want to do is cut your grocery bag into a ring. Now, here's what you want to do. The grocery bag will come like this, right? Hold the open side up and we are going to cut along this way. Not this way, this way. So we're going to do a quarter inch wide and don't make it thicker than that or it'll be too heavy and it won't work. Just like so. And then watch what happens when you fold it out. It becomes a ring, just like that. So now what we want to do is build up a static charge on both our ring and our balloon. How are we going to do that? With our hair. So I'm going to rub the balloon onto my hair and the ring onto my hair. And what that's going to do is transfer electrons from my hair onto my balloon and onto my ring. So we're going to have a negative charge on both of these things. Okay, here we go. Charge our ring, charge our balloon. You want a lot of electrons. There we go. There we go. Look, look. There we go. There we go. And that is your levitating ring. Here are some ways you can experiment within the experiment. Only charge the balloon and not the ring. See what happens. Only charge the ring and not the balloon and see what happens. I think you'll find that it doesn't work because you need those like charges to repel, to create that levitation effect. Now, if you're having a hard time getting it to work, just make sure that you have cut it to be only a quarter inch thick. If it's not working, cut it even thinner because the trick here is that these grocery bags are so incredibly light so that a static charge can actually keep them in the air. If you use heavier bags, it's not going to work. If you use a thicker cut, it's going to be too heavy and it's not going to work. So if you're having trouble, just cut it a little thinner. Thanks for making a levitating ring with me. If you like this one, be sure to check out my best-selling Stay Curious and Keep Exploring series for 99 more science experiments. I'm Emily Calandrelli. Subscribe for all things science and space. And remember, stay curious and keep exploring. I'll see you next time. Emily's Science Lab.